Welcome back guys, this is the third episode of the multivariate series and now we are just going to be looking at the partial derivative of this function e raised to the negative x times sine of x plus y. So the first thing, oh I dropped my marker. So the first thing that's going to happen is I don't need to redefine this function because it's crazy as is and I don't want to make it look more intimidating. So I'm just going to grab the partial derivative. Look at that d. Can't write for some reason. D of f over d of x of e raised to the negative x. Wow, my marker loves me so much. Right, times the sine of x plus y. So now, the first thing I got to do is look at my variable x. Okay, my e to the x has a variable x, so we're good. My sine of x plus y has a variable x as well. We're good there too. So to differentiate this, I'll need to apply the product rule, as you guys might have learned in single variable calculus, where the derivative of a function with respect to x, because I'm going to use x in this case, of f of x and g of x would be equal to f of x times g, g prime of x, which is a derivative of g plus g of x times f prime of x, which is the derivative of f. So now let e to the x be my f of x, and let sine of x plus y be my g of x. So starting off differentiating this, I'm going to take the derivative of f first. It doesn't matter which way I do it because it's addition and addition is commutative. So now the derivative of e raised to negative x is just going to be negative e raised to negative x. And now I've got to multiply the function by it. So that is going to be the sine of x plus y. And that's it. And now adding it, I got to add the derivative of this part of the function, or g of x, to, to the multiple and multiply it by e raised to negative x. So I'm just going to get that e raised to negative x right there and take the derivative of sine of x plus y. So the derivative of sine of a function is a cosine of the same function. So I'm just going to go ahead and write a cosine of x plus y. And yes, of course, you guys might be talking about the chain rule, but that is covered in this case because the coefficients of my of my angle is just one. And y is going to be a zero anyway because I don't differentiate y with respect to x, so that's a zero, and the derivative of x is just one. So that's one times the whole thing, which is essentially the same thing. So that is the final answer of the partial derivative with respect to x. Now we're done, but we're not done because we got to find the y part as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that right here of the partial derivative with respect to y of e raised to negative x times the sine of x plus y. So now, of course, I'm differentiating with respect to y, and I see a term without the y. So that's a constant. I just shove it out of here. That is e raised to negative x times the partial derivative. It really matters in this case, but it does in other cases. Oh, excuse that y on the top, that's supposed to be an f, because that is the function with respect to the variable. So that is going to be the sine of x plus y. So now, of course, the derivative, as I mentioned earlier, is just the cosine of the same function, but of course the chain rule is covered in this case as well, because that is just a coefficient of 1, and that is a 0, because that is a constant in this in this case, so I'm differentiating with respect to y, x just becomes a constant, and the derivative of a constant is zero. So this is just going to be e raised to the negative x times the cosine of x plus y times one. Just tag that along, but it's not going to be, make a difference. And our final answer would be e raised to the negative x times the cosine of x plus y. Of course, we're done now. But of course, keep in mind, multivariate differentiation and partial derivatives in general, you just got to make sure you know the variable you're, integrate, you're differentiating with respect to, because any term that does not have that variable is a constant, and you can just push it out the derivative, make life easier. Thank you.